Sound like Go stupid, go stupid, go stupid Hey, what's up guys, how we doing? Today I wanna to talk real quick about where you stand in the box and your plate coverage. And the big thing I wanna talk about is don't get yourself out because of where you stand. Don't let where you stand in the box affect what happens at the plate. And the reason this came to my mind was I was doing a hitting lesson a few days ago and it was the first hitting lesson that I was doing with this player. They were a high school player a sophomore I believe and we talked a little bit before we started on uh, any pitches that gave this hitter problems and they said that they really had a difficult time handling the ball away they said they hit the ball in decently well but they can't hit the ball away and basically I hear that a lot from players most players especially younger guys uh, basically every player usually handles the ball in a little bit easier than they do away. Away, Hitting a ball away, teaching yourself to let the ball travel and work the ball the other way is definitely harder for most players than it is uh, being able to naturally just react to an inside pitch and be able to get there. So that that wasn't a big deal to me. But when I saw this player get up for the first swing of the lesson, I put a ball on the tee and um, they were standing so far away from the plate, actually further away from the plate than I think I've ever seen uh, any player stand before and they took a few swings I could tell right off the bat that they had it was basically impossible to cover anywhere past the middle of the plate middle away was going to give them big time trouble and um, so we started talking about it a little bit and I, and I said do you realize where you stand on the plate and they said uh, I, I never really thought about it I just get up there and they had no idea how to get in the box how to make sure that they can cover the entire plate. And I hate to see someone struggle, not because of their ability or their swinging mechanics, but simply because they don't get in the box the right way and they're not giving themselves a chance. So what I want to talk about today is to make sure, especially if you're a younger player. Now, for older guys, guys that have done this for a long time, they usually don't have a lot of trouble with this but if you're a younger player make sure you have some sort of routine that when you get in the box you kind of do the same thing every time so you know where you are you're you're making sure that you're in the right spot and you're not gonna just because of where you're standing give yourself problems when it comes to certain pitches what I like to do is I, I get in the box the same way every time and I know that if I put the bat in my left hand as a right-handed hitter and reach across the plate and kind of tap the outside part of the plate, I feel comfortable and I feel that I can cover that part of the plate. Now, I'm not saying you have to do it exactly that way, but you should have an idea and you should know what you have to do to make sure you're in that right spot. Now, one thing I suggest that every player does is videotape a few at-bats. Have somebody videotape you when you're hitting so that you can see where you're standing and you'll have a good visual to see if you're too close to the plate or if you're too far away from the plate and you'll be able to really see if you can cover pitches if you notice that on an outside pitch there's no way for you to get there or if you notice when a guy throws the ball middle in and you're so close to the plate that it's physically almost impossible to get that inside pitch well now you can make an adjustment like I say all the time feel isn't always real so what you feel like you're doing isn't what really is happening so you may feel like you're not that far away from the plate. Then all of a sudden you look on a camera and you look at that video and you say, wow, I am way further away from the plate than I ever thought. And this has happened to me in the past. I remember in college, I was having a difficult time with balls inside. And I didn't realize it, but I was practically standing on the plate. And for some reason, it didn't feel like I was. But when I saw a video of myself, I said, no wonder why I can't get to that inside pitch. I'm on the plate. I'm not giving myself any room to get there. So make sure you videotape or make sure at least you have someone watch you that can give you some honest feedback. Because like I said, feel isn't always real. So that's a couple of things I wanted to talk about. Just make sure that you're not getting yourself out because of where you're standing in the plate. I would hate hate to see that happen to you. And um, it just brought it up when I when I saw this player during a lesson 
And uh, when we actually moved him in the batter's box and I moved him closer to the plate, it was amazing how much better he covered the, the outside part of the plate just because of where he's standing. Now, he might have thought it was a swing problem when it was just a really basic, simple where I'm standing in the box problem. So hope this helps out. Let me know what you think, uh, and we'll talk to you later.